Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about part 4 of the Oculus Home Tour newly redesigned interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. I'm gonna change the sound in every video. My name is Lazius K, and today in part 4, we're gonna be talking about how to enable hand tracking, which by the way has come a long way since its very arrival, as well as how to access the pass through via the shortcut and also change your permissions, which is also equally very important. Now, part one, two, and three down in the link description below. So if you like this video, go and check this out as well. All right, let's begin. So inside of applications is where you can set some permissions. Now do be mindful that some apps, you actually do need to set the permissions to allow for absolutely everything. For example, virtual desktop, which is very important. If you're new to the Oculus Quest, we will talk about virtual desktop in another video. Actually, you could go down to the description. I'll put some links to videos that I did about that so you can go and learn it on your own time after this video. And because if you don't click allow for virtual desktop, then any update that is patched through will not work and certain things will stop working. So do be mindful of that. So all you do is you click on the little arrow here, the little box, and I won't click because it will disable my recording. And then just make sure that, you know, you allow whatever it is that you're supposed to allow. For example, you know, for virtual chat or for big screen, you know, if you need your microphone, then you need to make sure that you allow the microphone uh, to be enabled before you actually launch the app. Otherwise, no one's going to hear you when you're talking. So uh, do note that. And then you can also allow external storage so that when, for example, in all space, you take a picture in all space, it will store inside of your Oculus Quest. So if you allow on or if you enable uh, storage to be accessed by all space in your Oculus Quest, then you need to click allow as well. Otherwise, you take a picture, but it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> All right, let's look at experiments. So by the way, if you want to recenter your user interface, if you're moving around, just press and hold the Oculus button for those who are not aware. Experiments is basically the location where Oculus are doing a whole bunch of different features, but they're still in beta mode or better mode. So, you know, sometimes it will be buggy if you enable them. It might disrupt some games and all these kind of things. So do be aware of that if there's any bugs uh, that occur, for example, in VR chat, there's a lot of times now when you know, the world, you swap from one world to another world and then the screen goes black. Or if you go from Oculus Quest to Oculus Link, the screen goes black. It could be because one of your experiments are actually enabled. So I suggest that you disable them and then try again and see, you know, bottleneck whether it actually created that issue or whether it didn't. So just a tip there. So the new universal menu, of course, is the menu that we're looking at, which looks much more slick. It's got these black lines like this, but you can also disable it and go back to version 15. It will, however, require a restart. Now also here is where you can pair some Bluetooths. Do go and check in the description below. I did a video on how to pair your headset uh, with uh, Bluetooth earbuds and also speakers and also beta releases. Uh, generally speaking, I opt out of this because it does create some issues. Uh, hand tracking, of course, if we enable this now, hand tracking will be enabled and all I have to do is remove the, uh, remove the controllers. So I'll put them on the floor. And then normally my hands, my hands should come up in any second now. There we go. And then now we can basically navigate the uh, Oculus Quest with our hands. How cool is this? This is the world's first, it's never been done before. I mean, there are other headsets like the Windows Mixed Reality, which does use hand gestures, but I mean, come on, this is amazing. So if I just pinch my fingers, it will open up the UI again, and boom, we're here. So if I pinch and hold and drag, then it drags it up. So I'm just gonna disable it so I can bring back my controllers because it's still something I would need to get used to. All right, and they're gone when we disable them. So there you go. Before I share with you some last tips, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about real stories from real people during the lockdown in VR. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. 
So other features that there are, there's pass-through shortcut. Now that's very cool. Pass-through shortcut basically enables you to double tap on your headset anywhere on the side of your headset. Double tap the left or the right hand side of your headset to turn on pass-through at any time. Double tap again to exit pass-through and get back into VR. Done. Right, so basically all I'm gonna do, you can see on the video, I double tap on the right hand side. Boom, we're in pass-through and I double tap again. Boom, we're back inside the Oculus Quest. If I try the right side, boom, we're in pass-through and I do it again. Boom, we're back inside of the Oculus Quest. How cool is that? That is really, really awesome, very useful, especially if there's noise going around and you don't know what's going on, you're having a chat with someone, but you still wanna do some VR, you know, there you go. Or someone's knocking at the door. Very useful to have, but I'm gonna disable it for now. Multitasking for Oculus Browser. Now, normally what happens is, is that on the side of the actual, uh, feeds when you're using the browser it will show different things so you'll be able to multitask you can browse in one window browse another window or you can basically buy some apps in one window whilst you're browsing the web those kind of things so that's basically what multitasking is going to be for however some people have said that it's disappeared it's gone it's not there so it might depend on i don't know sometimes they take it off sometimes they put it back it's an on and off kind of thing, but again, it's in the experimental features, so expect it to be in beta mode. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and as always, help as many people in VR because that is what it's really, the, I mean, that, 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 that is why I do all these more than 100, almost 150 videos. That is what it's all about. All right, and hit the bell notification because I'm gonna be uploading part five very soon, so you'll get notified. All right, until next time, high five to you. Take it easy, as always, DJ, take it away.